I smile, I sing, I play, I touch, I see, I hear, I listen, I feel. I jump, I run, I care, I dance, I swirl, I dive, I swim, I love. Would you like to be me? I struggle, I fight, I revive, I battle, I sustain, I pull through, I hold on, I survive. I'm oppressed, I'm oppressed, I'm attacked, I'm abused, I'm battered, I'm pained, I'm uneducated. I'm inflicted, mutilated, misused, mistreated. I'm molested, I'm sold, I'm tortured. I'm burned, bruised, disfigured. I'm slaughtered, I'm murdered, I'm raped. I'm left behind. I am 
like two names in one that shame I didn't feel my life could point the course. Third, I would do brother on a single day, poor wretches. Then self to a tub they mutual do. Each killed the other, hands against his brother's hand. Now they are neither two but left behind. And see how miserable our end shall be through the teeth of the law we shall tread bread against the sovereign's power. You all to realize that we are only women. Now hands in nature that fight against them, and that we are ruled in this by those who are stronger in obedience to them. But there are also clouds, oceans, and mountains. Can you speak in there? Can you go for age, Lemma? Can you so flower? Who do you think you are, little girl, with that strength, that conviction, that will? The band's all second daughter. That is why. Here. Here's our third sailor. And a book. Special for you. Om je dromen te schilderen in je verbeeldingswereld. He has dreams and imaginary worlds that can never be. They're so pretty. Pretty and smart. Use a pen. Pak a pen. Write it down. Schrijf het op. Then lock them in your diary so no one will open it. Zodat niemand ooit zal weten. So that no one will know that you're more, much more than just a pretty little girl.
with contentious quarrel, like an eagle he flew into our country, with many men at arm, with many a helmet crown, with all hair. At seven gates to seven captains, ranked equals against equals, and there they left their brazen suits of armor to Zeus, the god of trophies. Only those two wretches, born of one mother and father, set their spears to win a victory on both sides. They worked out their share in a common death. Now victory, whose name is great, has come to Thebes of many chariots, with joy, to answer her joy, and bring forgetfulness of these wars. Let us go to all the shrines of gods. Let us dance all night long. Let Bacchus lead the dance, shaking Thebes to tremble. Gentlemen, as for our city's fortune, the gods have shaken her as the great waves broke. But the gods have also brought her back to safety. As for yourselves, I chose you out of all and summoned you here because I knew you as always loyal to the throne. And now here I stand, holding all authority and the throne in virtue with kinship to the dead. It is impossible to know any man, I mean his soul, intelligence, judgment, until he proves his skill in rule and law. I think a man supreme ruler of a whole city, and if for some reason he does not reach the best counsel for her, but through some fear keeps his tongue under lock and key him, I judge the worst of any. I have always judged so. And I would not count an enemy of my country as a friend because of what I know. Now, in light of rules like these, I will make her greater still. I hereby proclaim to the city about Oedipus' sons. For Teocles, who died the city's champion, showing his supremacy everywhere, he shall be buried in his grave with every right given to heroes under earth. His brother, however, Polonikes, a return to exile, who sought to burn with fire from top to bottom his native city and the gods of his own people, who sought to taste the blood he shed with us and lead the rest of us to slavery. I hereby proclaim to the city that this man shall no one honor with a grave, and no one shall mourn. You shall leave him unburied. You shall watch him chewed up by birds and dogs, violated. Such is my mind in this matter. <laughs> Never shall the wicked man have precedence in honor over the just, but he that is loyal to the state, in death and life alike, shall have my honor. Sir, nor do I bring to my feet 
I start my toes and I make myself coming back. My soul give me making speeches, sir. Poor fool, why are you going somewhere that when you get there, you pay the price? And don't you arbitrary man stop it again. And what did Creel need to do from someone else? Speak. I turned this matter upside down, sir. Now I may say, I may hang slowly. The short road became long. But at last I came to the decision, sir, that I must come to you, even though what I have to say may be nothing. Till I shall say it, sir. What is it that makes you so afraid? No, I want to tell you first my side of it, sir. I didn't do the deed, and I never saw who did it. It would not be fair for me to get into trouble. You hide and camouflage the thing itself. Clearly, you have some ugly news for me. Well, you know, I was asked there to make a man to be there, messenger, sir. For God's sake, tell me and leave my sight. Yes, I will tell you. Somebody just now buried the corpse and vanished. He's got on the skin some thirsty dust. He did rituals for his body. That's the register, sir. What? Who on earth could have done that? I do not know, sir, but there was no mark. The ground was hard and dry, unbroken. The door had left no trace, sir. When the first guard pointed it out, we all wandered. But the body had disappeared, not in the grave, but it lay upon him a little dust as if a hand dry and avoid the curse filed into that body's sanctity. There were no signs of any beast or dog that came there, sir. And after nothing came of our search, you know, once one man spoke, and we could not contradict him, for he said that we should come out and lay this information to you, that we could not cover it. Of course, this view prevailed, and the laws of draw chose me. I'm not going to need to win the prize. So here I am, sir. I did not want to come. You did not want to have me. I know that. For no one lies, messenger, for bad news. My lord, I wonder, could this be the gods doing? This is the thought of King Tom. Stop! Before your words fill me with rage. What you say is surely insupportable. That the gods thought of this corpse? Hmm? Is it of our excessive honor for this man, or for the favors that he did them that they should cover him? This man, who came to burn down their temples, their offerings, and scatter this land and yours to the wind.
fall most of all. With the toughest iron baked in fire for hardness, you see the most shattered. For he who is his neighbor's slave cannot be high in the spirit. An insult of a girl. She broke the established law. More insult that she laughed about it. But I swear I am no man. And she is mad. She thinks she can win this and not pay for it. No. Even though she be my sister's child and closer in blood than any, neither she nor her sister shall escape the sentence of death. For indeed, I accuse her and her sister equally for plotting the burial of some of her. I saw her inside just now, crazy, distraught. When men plot, is the mind of its first convicted of deceit. Oh, but I surely hate the one.
that's what death the dead are witnesses. I don't love a friend who loves a word. This is the most important meeting. I am a common death with you. A common one and we have to be a man. So down with me. Don't make it right with you. I'm going to try. My death is enough. What man can live for me once I have lost you? Ask Creon. All your care was on his behalf. Why do you hurt? When you gain nothing of it.
be good to me and only me. For I am a jealous man, a jealous Lord, a jealous God. Thou shalt not speak silence when thy words are not commanded. Thou shalt not think, thou shalt do, execute, not ask. Thou shalt clean my house, cook my food, caress my feet, and kiss my hand. Thou shalt not covet anything that is mine, my power, my freedom, my authority. Thou shalt not be like me, not in image, nor in likeness. For there is only one man, one Lord, one God, not thee. most wrongly and, and most undeservingly of all mankind for the most glorious acts. Here is one who would not leave her brother unburied, a brother who had fallen in bloody conflict, to meet his end by greedy dogs, have I heard the chance that way? Surely all she merits is golden honor, isn't he? That's the dark rumor that spreads in secret. So let her cry to Zeus. But if I agree with those of my race of Greetings to be rebels, surely I will do so with those outsiders. Nothing, I owe you. I beg. 
love you more highly, Father, than your success. What a greater distinction can a son have than the glory of a successful father? And for a father, the distinction of successful children. Do not bear the sin of heart of mind to think that what you say and nothing else is true. A man who thinks that he alone is right, or what he said, or what he is himself unique, such men, when opened up, are seen to be quite empty. For a man, though he be wise, there is no shame to learn. Learn many things and do not maintain his view so rigid. You notice how by the streams in winter time, the trees that yield preserve their branches safely. Or those that fight the tempest perish utterly. A man who keeps the sheet on his hill tight and never slackens, capsizes his boat. He that breaches the law or does it violence and seeks to dictate to those that govern him shall never have my good word. The man who said he sets up an authority must be obeyed in small things and in just, but also in their opposites. Yield something of your anger. Give way a little. A much younger man like me could have a judgment. I would say it is better to be one altogether wise by nature, but that is not so. It is good also to learn from those who advise well.
Go then, and rage with such of your friends as are willing to endure it. Look, 
stupida e inutile. Stavo parlando del mio cervello L'amore è l'unica cosa che può attraversare lo spazio e il tempo. Ma, why did you have to leave that? I miss him. I hate you! Love, undefeated in the fight. Love, that makes havoc of possessions. Love, who lies at night in a young girl's soft cheeks who travels overseas and in the countryside. There is no God able to escape you, nor any one of men whose life is a day only. And he who you possess is mad. Perhaps it was for some ordeal of your father 
that you were paying, hmm? Now you touch the most painful of my cares. The pity of my father reawakened, and the fate of all our race. The doomed self-destruction of my mother's bed when she slept with her own son, my father. What sins of my parents do I carry in my soul? God help me. There is a certain reverence for piety, but for him authority, that authority cannot be denied. It was your own self-willed temper that has destroyed you. Do not mistake temper with love, nor will with justice. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, behold the dissenter, the schismatic, the wild rebel plunging deep into the very foundations of our city, attempting and shaking them as though they were built on the thinnest of sands. Don't be blind, my poor shrew. Don't you know that not even armies of men can bring our city down? Indeed, only your will can save the city, can save me, nothing else. Don't fool yourself with the idea that you were meant to live as powerless creatures. It is you who shapes your destiny, who decides whether to turn left or right, whether to stop or run. The wheel of life only spins because you wanted to. And she dares still. No tears for me. No friends. No merit. I am led along the road ready for me. I shall never again suffer to look on the holy light of the day. For my faith brings no tears. You don't cry for me.
Once upon a time, there was a girl who dared to play with cars. She had dolls, of course, but cars. <laughs> they were dangerous, they were. For they were forbidden for girls like her. Girls don't play cowboys. Girls don't play fights. Girls are meant to play tea time and rearrange doll houses. Once upon a time, there was a girl who dared to keep a secret. An awful, horrible secret. Too hard for you to hear. Too hard for you, or her, to bear. But she kept it, she did. She kept it in her. Letting it rot in her, inflict her. Oh, she cried. Yes, indeed, she did. But said no word. For that was not her place to do so. You must be strong. You must endure. You must accept. Don't you even dare. <laughs> but she did. For once upon a time, there was this girl who dared to defy the world. Not for her dreams, not for her pride, but for love. No one cared to listen. No one cared to follow. No one cared to see. But the girl was strong. She had endured. But not accepted. The girl won't tell her secret. No one will. The girl is here no more. For once upon a time, there was a girl who dared just that. She dared to be a girl. When I went to consult the birds this morning, they were screeching and fighting each other. Their beaks and claws were red with blood. The kites had been feasting on Polynike's body. They had dropped lumps of flesh 
in the streets of Thebes. They were polluting the city. Crayon, you are polluting the city. Stop now or you will bring the plague back to Thebes. A man may make a mistake, but he who corrects his mistake is the wisest. Obstinacy could be your downfall. Do as I say. Bury Polynikes with full rituals. Don't stab the boy a second time and act now before it is too late. I wonder whether such men put profit before wisdom. Wise advice can be more precious than any gold. Now that is exactly where your mind is sick. And you, princes, love to take advantage of our prophecies. I know, and my advice once helped you to save the city. Let me help you to save it again. Wrong. So you force me to open your eyes to the horrors that only I can foresee? Before long, one of your very blood will pay the price for your sins. A corpse for a corpse. You bricked up Antigone in a cave, while her only crime was to follow the laws of the gods. You left her brother Polynikes to rot in a sun-scorched field with no funeral rites. For these sins, the Furious will hunt you to death. Your house will be loud with the sound of mourning and all the cities will spew hatred upon you. You will not escape from these torments. Soon you will put your tongue and your judgment to better use than you do now. Sweden! Take 64! 
Laws are forbidden to abuse their wives. France, 1881. Women are allowed to open a bank account under their own name. United States, 1971. Barring women from practicing law is now forbidden across all the states. Spain, 1975. Women may travel freely, find employment of their choosing, and own property without their husband's permission. United Bars and pubs can no longer refuse service to women. The gender equality family law establishes that no man's opinion shall prevail over his wives. Switzerland, 1991. Women may now vote on all local elections across the country. Mexico, 2004. Husbands practicing marriage array may face up to 20 years in prison. Kuwait, 2005. Women may now vote and run for office. Nigeria, 2015. Female gender mutilation is criminalized. Sexual innuendo expressed to women is a crime. Punishable by law with up to three years in prison.
one to fulfill the of his marriage within death's house. In this human world, he has shown her from choices lands is for a man of his greatest evil. What do you make of this? My lady's gone without a word of good or bad. I too am lost in wonder. I don't know. To me, this over-heavy silence is as much dangerous as empty railing. Going inside will show me if her passionate heart keeps any secret purpose.
my son in my arms. Now there's another dead face for me to look at. Poor mother. And poor son. And poor girl. That sweet girl who was destined for birth to so much pain. Oh, the horror she endured. Can't you see? I meant just no harm. I was protecting us all. But yet, look at what I've done. He was so kind, yet so foolish. Where once there was life and light, now there is only death and tears. My home is no more. I am no more. <sighs> Oh, my God. 